Well, we've all been there, right? First off, tell me how the audio is. Now, where have we all been? All of us in the small engine nation have been here. Almost guaranteed. You need to tap a hole. But that hole is way up here. Lyle has your solution. These are tap holders in quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, and half inch drive that will hold your taps and allow you to get deep in there. I just thought they were really cool. I saw them on uh, another video and I just, I, I had to get them. Had to get them. So I did. But this video is not about that. It is about the Cub Cadet. So give me a second to get set up and we'll start talking about it. Alright, we're going in. I'm using the new Hero 8. I ordered it Friday. It was here yesterday. And wow is all I can say. I do not have a mic attached to it. Audio, at least to me, sounds great. So you guys be sure to let me know. Now, we are looking at the cover transmission pan cover here and we are still leaking we're leaking from the bottom you see here so my best guess is I'm going to lift it up with the lift and pull that pan off hopefully I won't lose too awful much oil but if I do I've got two gallons of hydrofluid that will replenish it um, we're just going to put some Honda Bond on there which is a really good gasket sealer you can use RTV gray um, but we've also got some loose steering which I did notice I'm gonna check that loose steering and all that is is the mounting point for the rear part of the cylinder which is right here and there's just a bolt up underneath and then a place to put a wrench here. Just need to tighten that down because that's a little loose. See if I can get it to move for you. Well, it's not going to move without the hydro. But uh, that bolt right there was loose. So that tells me I just need to go through and make sure that everything is cinched up on it. Once I'm sure everything is cinched up on it. See, this is the amount of oil that it leaked in a week. It's not a ton, but it shouldn't leak at all. So we're going to do our best to remedy that and get that taken care of. But for now, let's get it up on the lift. Get a closer look up underneath because we just got a sneak peek the last time. And see if uh, we can make sure that this thing's going to be good and safe and reliable for Miss Zippo. We already know the Vanguard is going to be just fine, so let's get into it. All right, we've got her nose up in the air. Now we do have we have two new belts. The belts are both exactly the same length. They are both also Kevlar coated. They were just you know just different colors. That's the only difference there. And Biggie Rat put those on. Um, he changed the oil. You can see we've got a brand new oil fil oil filter up under there and let me look looks good and dry there i did notice when it was parked for a couple weeks that i had this oil mess here and i wasn't sure if it was from the power steering or the or what so i'm just kind of looking around up in here looking for any real obvious leaks and i see the obvious leak it's coming right off of the uh, oil fill or the oil drain. You see that yellow cap right there, just behind the spring. I believe that's where it's coming from. Um, we've got, considering the age of the of the machine, okay. We have actually, Ron, I'm sure scraped that off. Minimal build up here. None over here. 
I will be lubricating small points, just barely lubricating those points. Let me step this way with just a tiny bit of oil. Getting a look, getting a look. Um, most of what you see here is just belt material. And look over here. Got a, it's like a big grant. Oh, that's wonderful. But it actually is wonderful. I'll, I'll, let me let me get that. You guys see that? That means this thing has been greased, which is fantastic. This one, same way. Dirty inside the wheels. I don't care if it's dirty. That shows me it's been maintained. We've got grease caked up here. That's nice. Uh, the one thing I do want to check is the pivot point down here. I want to make sure that we have plenty of lubrication on that. But these plates are a whole lot thicker than were on that 1500 series. So I have a mess to clean off my hands. Give me just a second to do that so I don't get the camera or myself all nasty. And we'll uh, continue our investigation. All clean. Oh, forgot to grab the flashlight. Let's get under here. Oh, I thought these were cast iron. They're not. They're just, they're vinyl coated. Got a little bit of play in that one. Which I don't think is an issue. The forward is good and rigid. This one's just a little bit wobbly. We'll look into that. That may be something that can be tightened up. Let's see. What do we have back here? Yeah, there's a nut back there. We might be able to tighten that up a little bit so that this isn't quite as floppy. And that may also contribute to um, less, slower reverse speeds. But you can see how thick all of the steel on this thing is. The frame, section of the frame there, good and thick. Everything is good and thick. Even the front bumper. And the front bumper's taking a whack. <clears throat> so let's continue our search. Let's make sure that our tie rod is doing okay. Oh, yeah, well, we got light flash, don't we? We'll come over this way and do it this way. Now by me grabbing the wheels, you can see the loose connection on the hydro here. Let me get my old man knee pad down here so I can squat and show you. Okay. Now if you watch me move the wheel, you'll see that just rock back and forth a little bit. So that just needs cinched up. I'll just tighten that up a little bit. And all these pivot point points are all areas that move. So they're all going to get lubricated. See that shaft right there? That big, beefy, solid piece of metal running right across there. That's what lifts and lowers your deck. Because that is a big, heavy deck. And we're a little bit floppy there. This one's not near as floppy, so we'll probably tighten that lock nut down a little bit. And again, lube all that. But I see no oil leaks. Other than the obvious one, the transmission. And you can see it a little better here just coming down right down from the uh, sorry my screen just went off gotta make sure things are there we go so you can see all the oil accumulation there looks like it's been resealed once before 
Uh, we're going to do it again and we're going to try to do a better job. That looks suspiciously like plastic. Nope, it's metal. Okay. Uh, so we've got a disc brake over there. If we look over here, we've got a disc brake over here as well. Here is your cylinder right here for the deck lift and lower. All of our lines look dry. Our hydro lines, that is. And our pivot points haven't been lubricated very well, but uh, we're also gonna see what we can do about fixing the, uh, the, the leaf shroud, try to get that thing straightened out. Um, I believe Ron's the one that's been servicing this, uh, or uh, Biggie Rat's the one that's been servicing this through time. So uh, that's a big benefit and bonus too, because Ron would go through and uh, lubricate all of the grease zerks. So I, 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 other than that, we're just looking at a bunch of beefy steel. I'm humbled that uh, <laughs> MTD actually has made a rather robust machine here. Pretty impressed. Even this girdle right here. This girdle is designed to hold the transmission very steady within the frame. And it is double plated. Got my finger on one plate here. And then the frame. It's bolted to both. And then it's bolted in numerous spots to the transmission itself. I'm uh, I'm impressed. Props to MTD. This is actually the first MTD product that I have been impressed with. Now I liked the 1500 series. It, it had its shortfalls, obviously. We already discussed those. About the only chintzy piece I see. One little chintzy piece. See how skinny that piece of sheet metal right there is? Right there. Now it's even just flexing under my touch. All that is is the uh, hydro release so you can freewheel it. No worries there. It doesn't have a huge load bearing job. So, looks like that's all we need to do to it. Let's go over and take a look at the deck. Hang on. All right, we're at the deck. Um, the spring for the chute is pretty much non-existent, but that's okay. Miss Zippo tends to destroy them. Uh, the rear roller bar looks good. Both rollers are in place. Looks like it's had a repair. Or that's the way it's built. One of the two. That's a really, it looks like a machine weld. So I would venture to say that's uh, how it was built. So the rollers look good. We'll come up here and we'll take a look at each of these front. These are both uh, crazy wheel rollers. Okay. Um, they leave a little bit to be desired. They've been road hard and put away wet. I mean, we've got we, we've got evidence of of uh, grease in there. Sorry, I don't know what you were looking at. Evidence of grease in there. But if you look, this one, the, these tabs here are bent out, and then the tabs on these are bent in. So this whole thing has ton of play so we have a little bit of work to do that and this one's the same way only it's not quite as bad so we've got those two things and this is a really heavy deck so let me switch hands here see if we can't lower this deck down without making too much noise or destroying too many body parts are we ready we'll ease it back a little bit there we go. That wasn't too bad. Hope it didn't hurt anybody's ears. Uh, the belt condition, fantastic. The belt looks great. Um, I did spin everything before I got this from Ron, and everything moves quite nicely. Uh, there is a grease zerk right there for greasing the slide. 
and the slide has plenty of grease. The quick connect coupler also is quick coupling, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. I don't feel any slop. I did it again. I don't feel any slop in the universal joints, so that's good. Uh, these two points here on either side, that's where the lift arms attach. And then this little bale right here is where the bale on the tractor attaches. And I've got to wipe this off before I end up wearing all this grease. So you guys can sit there and watch me. That's nice fresh grease too. Tink as things warm up in here. So really we don't have a whole lot that we need to do to the uh, deck. We just need to fix the crazy wheel mounts so that they're a little more rigid where they're at. Okay, Get that taken care of. Uh, possibly check the thrust washer condition at the bottom where the weight of the deck rides on them. If those thrust washers are in uh, bad shape, we'll give some attention to those. But otherwise, the deck is good to go. We are golden on the deck. So that pretty well covers both the deck and the mower at, at a glance. Now I had this sitting up, only about 10 minutes has elapsed. And we'll see down here I did have it tipped on its end, but we've got a couple of drops of oil there. So we'll pull that rear pan. And uh, also this, the uh, seat glide slides um, need some attention. I need to lubricate the slides so that the seat will actually adjust back and forth. It's been sitting in the same spot for a couple of years. I suppose we can do a top side inspection right let's do a top side inspection let's grab the handy little filming light <laughs> the cheap old tool shed light from rural king okay we can take a look from the top and see i had the covers off on this when i first brought it in but look at the condition of the hood. We don't have any oil spatter or anything like that or any blow-by coming up and hitting the hood. That's a good thing. Um, we already know that we have to pay attention to the leaf and grass deflector there to keep the engine clean. And I don't see any excessive buildup. We may pull the side covers off and take a little closer look at the heads to see... Uh, just for peace of mind, to make sure that the heads are, uh, the fins are good and clear. Um, this takes a 51 or a 51R battery, but starts, cranks, turns over and does just fine with one of these little, I say little, uh, with one of these 300 cold cranking amp batteries. They do just fine. Uh, as far as the steering and any play in the steering, there is none. Uh, what else can we talk about? We already know that the tilt wheel works just fine. I've not taken it out and um, with the deck on, obviously, because it hasn't been on since I've had it. So we will do that after we get it uh, after we get everything checked out and get the deck on it. We'll take it out and see how it does providing I won't be mowing snow so I guess that wraps it up everything seems fine I am going to see what's going on possibly with the fuel sending unit saying that the tank is empty because it definitely is not you can see that there's gasoline flopping around in there I already see one setting that I need to change on this 
and that's when I'm shooting the video I don't want that screen to go dark because if I'm not using my phone I look at what's behind what you guys are seeing I've got a screen on the other side so all right I think we're golden I think we're gonna be just fine uh, Miss Zippo she doesn't worry about getting her leaves up or anything like that she'll take her leaf blower and clear keep her driveway cleared up but other than that um, so she's not pressed for time with this she's not in a hurry for it so that rounds it out I really appreciate you guys hanging around with me and doing a little bit of uh, pre maintenance inspection on the HDS 3185 Cub Cadet uh, everything looks pretty good on it so hopefully it will be relatively drama free so as always this is your friendly neighborhood Zippo if you like this video you can click right down there and subscribe I only have 10% of my viewers are subscribed that's 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed it doesn't hurt to hit that subscribe button it doesn't burn it won't catch you on fire you won't get shocked no one's going to hunt you down if you do that so I would greatly appreciate it if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there for me and then there's a video right here and then there's another video right here I promise you guys I will see you on the next one don't forget to tell me how the audio was later I'm out of here